Steve Dotto here. How the heck are you doing this fine day? Me? I'm feeling a hankering to get back to basics. Actually, if the truth be told, it's not so much I'm feeling a hankering to get back to basics. It's the fact that in the requests that we get for different demos here on the channel, often there are requests for us to get back to basics. And what could be more basic than signatures in Gmail. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing today based on your requests and you know who you are. Signatures in Gmail today on Dottotech. Yeah, sometimes I get carried away and show all of the fancy pants technology and forget that there's lots of people who are still struggling with some of the basics. And one of the most basic things that a lot of us want to do is be more efficient in email and adding a signature to our email address uh, at the bottom of each email is, uh, is something that we should, that we should all be doing. And uh, some people still don't know how to do that. So I'm going to jump in right now and show you how to do that. I have a demo Gmail account here open. Now for almost every one of your Gmail settings, when you're working with Gmail in a browser, the place to go is under this little gear icon in the right hand side, click on that and open the settings. The settings will open a web page which has a uh, huge assortment of settings for us to set. Pretty much everything, every internal setting in Gmail can be applied right here. And right in the general tab, we don't have to go into any of these other tabs which are label your accounts, filtering, labs, a whole bunch of different options here which are worth poking through if you have some time. But if we just scroll on down, looky, looky, looky what I found, signature. <clears throat> now for this demo account, uh, I haven't yet set up a signature. So all you do to set up a signature is type in, thanks for being you. There it is, I'm gonna be really supportive in my signature, and I'm gonna put it capital T. And then I'm gonna go Steve. Now, you can add nice things to your signature. You see here we have an editor which allows us to do things like inserting images. So if I wanted to put my picture here, just below the thanks for being you and above the for my name, I am going to just click here on insert image and then choose a nice little image from somewhere on my computer. Now I've got a nice little thumbnail image loaded to Google Drive, but if I chose, I could go and upload and I could directly load it from, uh, a, from a file on my computer if I chose to. Now this particular image should be nice and small. It's like, a, you know, this is like 100 pixels by 100 pixels or something like that. So it's a nice small signature that I'm applying there. And if you're thinking about that, the fact that you can add a graphic, you could also add a written signature if you want to really spice things up. You do it the exact same way, but I haven't loaded it in yet. What I did is I just signed a white piece of paper, took an image of it, and let me show you how we actually upload a new image. So I'm gonna go to my desktop on my computer, and right there, I've got my sample signature that I just created. Don't all of you counterfeiters think this is my real signature, it's not. It's just chicken scratch that I put together. But there you've got a full-on signature all ready to go. So you can also add things like links and other information into your signature should you choose to. So you can create an automatic signature this way. Now, if you've got your Gmail account set up with multiple accounts, you can actually choose multiple different accounts to have signatures for and have a unique signature for each account. But basically, it's pretty easy and straightforward to set up signatures. Now, there are other applications that set up uber fancy signatures. I've shown you some of those in the past. Uh, but just to get started, go on, remember, into settings under the gear menu and choose under the general tab your uh, uh, the, the, um, the signature I, uh, uh, option and then very important last step, click save changes. If you don't save the changes, your signature won't happen. This is where most people fall off the signature bandwagon is they don't look for the very small. I don't know why Google has it so small. Uh, take a look at it. Let's just take a look again at it because I want to reinforce that it's so important for you to click on this save changes. It's the tiniest button in the bottom of the settings. I don't know why they don't make it a big ass save button flashing so that people know that they have to save, uh, but a lot of people miss that particular setting. So you've got lots and lots of different options here in this in the, in the settings tabs, uh, the settings area within Gmail, but you will also find the basic the most basic of basics, you find the ability to set an email signature. 
I hope that this video answered any questions you have about signatures and you found it useful. Now, there's three ways to stay in touch with us here on Dottotech. The first is subscribe to this channel. The second, subscribe to our newsletter. Then you'll hear about our great live events, which we have regular a regular series of webinars on all sorts of interesting topics. And finally, Dottotech is a community-funded site through our supporters at Patreon. If you want to learn a little bit more about what being in the Dottotech community is all about, drop by our Patreon page, have a look, and there are perks, and the perks are awesome. Until next time, I am Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.